have a brand do you want to get it in front of millions of people instantly well email me right now ogod at hiphopun.com that's o G O D at hiphopun.com your brand could be right before each video that we publish hit me right now do not wait yeah but anyway uh we That's talked great. about yesterday it was either yesterday or the day before i'm not sure but um joe biden oh, your boy he was at a hip-hop uh he was honoring some hip-hop legends mc light and ll cool j i think it was at like a hip-hop what are these things that we're calling these things right i guess now? like a little um summit i guess like right. to kind of honor them right yeah. so he was there mispronounced ll's name forgot his name then called him a boy a lot of people had fun with it. I ain't gonna say they took it too serious, but they had fun with it, right? And justifiably so. Well, MC Light heard a lot of the fun that was going on. She took exception to it. Oh God! And you got it up. Yeah, and she pretty much defended Joe Biden. Um, was pretty much saying like, "Look, she don't think that he meant it." Um, she also went on to say that she thinks that people should focus on the fact that the United States president and the vice president is showing love to hip hop for the first time. And she, and she said, "I quote." We should all spend time focusing on this. For the first time in history, both president and vice president of the United States together have acknowledged, embraced, and publicly shown their love and appreciation for a mon monumental achievement in hip-hop. She continued to say, let's try to keep showing each other love and grace. Long live hip-hop. Um, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah. What you thought of it? Oh, uh, respectfully, I disagree. Yeah. I disagree a hell of a lot. Um, especially when uh, 2012, I think, we had Obama in for eight years, and all we seen is hip hop throughout My the world. president White House. is black. They you had hip hop songs. Yeah. They had Grammys. Yeah. <laughs> and hip he was playing ball with the NBA stars, and yeah. it was hip hop throughout that joint. Hip hop throughout it. And Joe Biden was his vice president. So I don't. Um, See, we you you brought it up and you hit the nail right on the head. We see this kind of stuff around election year every single year, and sometimes, and we say it a lot, and we don't know particulars and we don't know exactly who, but we call out certain people in our culture, Hollywood, comedy, uh, sports, hip hop, for getting paid by certain parties in politics who want to buy our vote, right? And those people in particular throughout the decades have been Democrat. I know a lot of people think that we're pro-Republican. I know a lot of people think we're pro-Trump. But listen, let's just call the facts out. There's only one side pandering and promoting for our votes. There's only one side doing hip-hop events. If the other side was doing it, we'd talk shit about them too. But they're not. It's one. The one looking for your vote, and that happens to be Democrat. And this is exactly what they're doing now. Now, she may be genuine in how she feels about that being a mistake. Right. But you got the crime bill. You have who he looks up to. You have... A lot of 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 breadcrumbs pointing to this dude may not like black people too much. And now getting in his older age, mistakes happen and he may have reverted back to something back from when he was seventeen, eight years old. Oh, that boy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. Yeah. We don't know. But for you to just go ahead and openly defend it and say we gotta focus on love and hip hop, it's almost kind of like a way to let's throw the blanket over the fire because we have real information coming out unlike we never have before and it kind of silence it a little bit. Let's just focus on love and hip hop because this is what we are, this is what we are. And we gotta vote for them because they're gonna keep hip hop a lot. I just think it's, it's silly. bullshit, bro. It's silly, it's short sighted and MC Light is following the old adjective. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. Mm. And what I'm saying that is that she was just at a war show that the vice president and the president are honoring her. There's no way in hell she's going to say anything disrespectful or against that. Probably she didn't get paid. She got an award. I'm pretty sure she probably got some type of you know money, if not notoriety. So she's not going to come out and say anything contrary to that. As far as her talking about you know the hit the hip hop aspect of it, I think it's just silly. Yeah. I think I think it's just it's, it's stupid. Really like okay, so oh they honor hip hop, but they'll sign a crime bill that you know put all you guys in jail. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's just I think a lot. That's why we really can't have celebrities really speaking for us and athletes in certain instances speaking for us because you know they really don't understand the political climate of what's really going on here. They don't really understand that okay now you every time around election they're gonna yeah they're gonna go use. You people to get to other people to make it look like they rock with you. But remember, once they get in office, every single time, they don't give a damn about us. We got it. We got to remember that.
See, we get caught up in the watermelon, the fried chickens, the dancing, the Kamala Harris. Collard greens at the refrigerator. Right. We, you know, oh, we, uh, Bill Clinton playing, uh, you know, the saxophone and, you know, um, uh, um, Jeezy hanging out with Obama. Jay oh, I got Obama on a jack and all this bullshit. And then when they get in office, they do everything for everybody except for you. And we keep accepting it. That's the problem. We keep accepting second class citizenship instead of saying, nah. Fuck your fucking events. Fuck your chicken dances and watermelons and grape juice. What the hell are you going to do for us? Oh, they, they've, they've given more money to HBCUs than any presidency we've ever seen, oh God. Right. HBCUs. Right. Right. <sighs> Why not give it to them kids in Frederick Douglass Elementary School that need it? Or the ones in New York or the ones in these inner cities that actually need it. Why don't we go to the children that don't have the money as opposed to the ones that just paid sixty thousand dollars a year to go to <laughs> right. the university? But because it's historically black, that's the propaganda they try to throw behind it. And I'm not throwing any shade against historically black colleges. I think they're needed. I love them. But to say that that's the one thing they do, that's the one thing they say, oh, we put this amount of money to HBCUs. Yeah, well, there's 10 million other black kids that ain't got to that point yet in schools, suffering from education, not reading at the right level, not doing mathematics at the right level, not being able to get jobs or, or be able to have the, the, the tools they need to succeed outside of these damn schools. What are you doing for them? What are you doing for us? Because we were once them children where's it talk about reparations see uh -oh. we, uh, we shouldn't have anybody uh -oh. any candidate that's not willing to put reparations on the table none of them are none of them are we shouldn't be behind none of them yo none of them they, you, they owe you a debt bro they owe you a debt i don't care what nobody said they paid groups of people they have paid people for the atrocities they committed not even here in other countries and they, they won't put the conversation on the table? That should be number one right there. Like, but, hey, man, we just keep getting, you know, sucked into this and that. And I don't know, man. Um, and I'm not I'm not registered Republican. I'm not registered Democrat. If anything, I'll be a libertarian. If you had to really, like, pick less government, get the fuck out of our shit, let us handle our own thing. That's what I'm really with at the end of the day. But we still got to keep, you know, focused on the political climate and the people that they keep pushing in front of us, man. And, um, you know, like I said, if it was on the Republican side, we would call it out too. But don't give me two sides. Don't give me a Hulk Hogan or 49ers and a Cowboy to say I got to choose. What if I want to pick another team? Word. And they do that. Right. And they only, the only people they do that to is us. Right. The only people they do that to is us. You ain't never say you ain't white if you vote Republican. <laughs> if you don't vote Republican, you ain't white. I ain't never heard that in my life. Right, right, But right, you right. ain't black if you don't vote Democrat. Wow. Or, or if we have conversations that just give Democrats the criticism by any stretch of imagination. Now we on the other side. Now might as well just pledge our allegiance to the other side. The reason why we talk about Trump the way we do, the reason why we talk about the other side is just to give you guys another side of the goddamn equation. Because there is another side. We're not just stuck in this hole that is Democrat and not asking why we voted for him for decades upon decades. Yes, they've done absolutely nothing for us. We were the same way growing up. We've seen the same shit. And it's like, okay, eventually you get tired of getting your ass whipped. You want to know how you can fucking start whipping some ass yourself. And if one side ain't giving it to you, hell, let's look at the other side. And if they ain't, who is? And we ain't got to that. I and guess we, we still ain't getting our ass them. whipped. Yeah, we shouldn't. We, like I said, we really shouldn't support none of them unless they have an agenda for us on the table as poverty you know, is that, that, you know, getting better, you know, or is jobs increasing, is the wealth gap changing, like things like this is like, and over the years, none of that has really improved significantly. If it did with one administration, it went down for the next. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what's really going on here? You know, but hey, you know, I mean, I'm not even like, I'm not claiming to be a political, you know, analyst or nothing At like all. that, but we, we can see with our own damn eyes what's going on. Right. We got senses. We got, you know, uh, comprehension skills out this bitch. Yep. And we wouldn't ever tell you who to vote for either. Do your own Do research. Your yeah. Make sure you vet these candidates off the computers, off the phones. Do your own genuine research if you genuinely care. And it's not a popularity contest to you because a lot of y'all won't admit it's just simply a popularity contest. Y'all don't know shit about the policy. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. But y'all want to sit back and argue with us. Listen, don't listen to us about anything either. Go do your own. Well, you got people ignorant enough to say... Because somebody's black or it's because it's a woman that I'm voting, that's ignorant. Yeah. That's just because? What the hell does that mean? We mm -hmm. had people that sold us out 
throughout the years, that was black or woman. That don't mean nothing. Oh, she a woman, something behind her. What? She a black woman. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. You yeah. got to be a silly mofo. It's a lot of them. <laughs> but we still love y'all. Yeah, yeah. Still love y'all. Yeah, you know, we, we get it. We get it. You still know? love y'all. Yeah. What we got else, man? Catalog. Look, everybody and their mama, five year old foreigner said he could sell 